Good day everyone. This is going to be a simple presentation on a not so simple topic. People working in the field of control are tuning, understand and realize the simplicity and advantages of the direct synthesis method. Also, the mathematical complexity, fractional order derivative and fractional order control is well recognized. So in this presentation, we'll try to solve a complicated mathematical problem using a very simple technique. So that's what the presentation is about. It's about fractional order controller design using the direct synthesis method. Now I am Selim Ahmed, a faculty member in the Department of Process Engineering at Memorial University. Now here is a brief outline of the presentation. I'll provide background information about fractional order derivative and fractional order control. Then I'll move on to discuss the methodology used in this study. We'll provide the resulting tuning rules based on the direct synthesis method for fractional order controller will show some simulation results and finally draw some concluding remarks the 17th century mathematician and philosopher gottfried leibniz when approached by la hopital about the half order derivative replied that it will lead to a paradox from which one day useful consequences will be drawn now after four centuries i think we are not yet able to fully realize the useful consequences of this fractional order systems and fractional order derivative. Nonetheless, there are lots of recent contributors in this field and showing the hope that in the near future, the fractional order controller will be able to provide much more benefit to the process control community. Among the main contributor in this field are a Professor Ustalo from University of Bordeaux, France. In their group, they have worked a lot on the development of fractional order model and fractional order controller. Professor Chen's group at the University of California, Merced, uh, they have contributed significantly to the field of fractional order controller design. Professor Petlenkov from the University of Estonia, they have provided a toolbox called FormCon, which is very useful. It is a MATLAB based toolbox. Also recently they have converted the toolbox as a Python based tool. So both platforms are available. Also, Professor Igor Podlubny from the Technical University of Kosis, Slovakia. Their group has significantly contributed to the field of fractional order modeling and fractional order control. The recent interest and also the recent reported significant applications in this field gives us the hope that in the near future, the control community will be able to benefit from the fractional order controller. There are many applications reported in the recent literature in the field of power generation, modeling of turbine using the fractional order. Differential equation has been demonstrated for biological system. The muscular bl blood vessels problem has been dealt with fractional order derivative. In the field of instrumentation, the electrohydraulic actuator where control has been applied for such an actuator using fractional order controller. In the field of mechatronics, robotic manipulator has been shown to be benefited from the use of fractional order controller for electrical power for dc motor fractional order modeling and control application have been demonstrated in the field of process palm test storage hydro, hydro units has been modeled and controlled using fractional order controller and in the field of power transmission load frequency control using fractional order controller has shown to have benefits now these are just few examples of the applications of fractional order control in different fields. Now, why fractional order? Now, Leibniz saw this fractional order derivative to be a derivative of general order, meaning that when this order has an integer value, it covers the aspects of integer order derivative problem. So it's a general form of derivatives. In that sense, the fractional order controller can also be considered as a general form of the PID controller, meaning that if we develop the fractional order controller when those orders becomes integer, we get the regular PID controller. Use of this fractional order gives some advantage that it has now got more degrees of freedom. However, the same makes the tuning problem to be much more challenging because now you have more parameters to tune. Now in that respect, the direct synthesis method becomes handy. Because as we know that direct synthesis method requires only one parameter to tune and that leads to the controller with its structure. 
Now, if we go back to the general methodology to design a PID controller, the PID controller has three elements, the proportional, integral, and the derivative. And it needs these three parameters, the controller gain, the integral or reset time, and the derivative time. Now, the design task is to define the controller structure and to determine the controller parameters. Now, in the field of controller tuning, there are many methods. The direct synthesis method, the internal model control method, and there are many controller tuning relations. In one of the survey paper, it was shown that there are nearly 1,000 different tuning relations available. However, most of those are limited for first and second order integer order models. There are some frequency, frequency response techniques. Uh, there are techniques based on computer simulation and also there are techniques which are applied after the control system is installed. Now many of these approaches has been used for fractional order controller design. For example, there are IMC based controller design for fractional order. Other techniques has also been used. However, the simplest of the technique, the direct synthesis method has not been used, at least that's the case to the best of my knowledge. Now direct synthesis method has great advantages that it gives the controller structure and the controller parameter with just simple tuning of one of the parameters. Now in the literature, we see different fractional order controllers available. The first one, what is this tilt integral derivative or TID controller? This is an early design and it has been patented in 1994 by someone from NASA. There are other controllers which is called this PI lambda T mu. What it simply means that there's a proportional component. The integral component is not integer order, rather having fractional order the same as the derivative component which is also having a fractional order instead of the integer order compared to the regular PID controller. There is this Crohn controller that also has been developed since 1990s. There has been lead lag compensators and there are many other controllers has been designed using different techniques. For example, the genetic algorithm, particle swarm optimization. There are lots of other works on those topics. Now the controller that we'll be proposing is something similar to what is called this tilt integral and derivative or the TID controller. Now the patent that has been obtained by, by Lurie from NASA, it describes the TID controller where the T refers to the tilt component, which simply means that it doesn't have a proportional part, rather the proportional part is replaced by an integral component with fractional order. The other two components, the integral and the derivative remains the same. And Lurie has demonstrated many advantages of the TID controller. However, how to tune the parameters of this TID controller has not been discussed in details. So in this study, we try to solve that particular problem, how to tune the parameters. Now as a background, let's look at the direct synthesis method. The idea is simple that we can express the closed loop transfer function as a function of the process and the controller. Now, if you simply do some algebraic manipulations, then the controller can be expressed in terms of the process and also the closed loop response. Now, if you can define a desired closed loop response, then the only unknown in this equation remains the controller and we can solve to get the transfer function for controller. We here define the tuning for two types of models which will describe the type 1 and type 2 for integer order models we can simply say first order second order but that's not the case for the fractional order controller so i'll use the term type 1 and type 2 for these two cases so type 1 model when you have simply k over tau is alpha plus 1 where alpha is a fractional number now for this case if we define a desired closed loop response to be first order and also for the closed loop transfer function, we want the gain to be 1. So if you define the closed loop transfer function of 1 over tau CL S plus 1, where tau CL is the desired time constant for the closed loop process. So we have a fractional order process and we want a response to be first order with gain 1 and some predefined time constant. Now if we plug in the values of this process model and the desired closed loop response, we get the required controller to have the transfer function, which is described in the last equation here. We see that compared to the PID controller, we have a controller gain value, which is one over K tau over tau CL, which is the same 
as the PID controller and also we have the integral part 1 over tau s which is also the same for typical PID controller however we don't have proportional term rather we have the term s alpha minus 1. So do recall that if alpha is less than 1 this becomes an integral instead of having a proportional component we have an integral component with fractional order when alpha less than 1. If alpha is greater than 1 we will get a derivative component of fractional order. So you see that that's something similar to the TID controller however using this approach we can get the control structure as well as the controller parameters. Now if we look at the tuning for this type 2 models where we have a gain and two components tau 1 s alpha plus 1 and tau 2 s alpha plus 1. If we plug in this model and with this desired closed loop response to be first order with some time constant to be tau cl we end up getting an equation which is a tid controller for alpha less than one we have tilted integral component which is denoted by s alpha minus one here and we have an integral component and we have a derivative component however the derivative component is also of fractional order so here we see that it's different from the TID controller in the sense that in the TID controller the derivative component is of integer order whereas for this controller the derivative component is also of fractional order. Please keep in mind that we are defining the desired closed loop response. So that's our objective to get. So we are not worried about the controller structure rather to get that desired closed loop response what should be the controller now for a more general model structure having k over tau 2 is alpha 2 plus tau 1 is alpha 1 plus 1 whether alpha 1 and alpha 2 they are not necessarily uh, multiple of each other in that case we will again get the resulting controller as shown in the last equation here again there is a tilted integral component there is an integral component and there is a fractional order derivative component this table shows the summary results that if you have a model structure about k over tau s alpha plus 1 for alpha less than 1 we get a tid controller here define the control structure about t over s nu meaning that for nu to be positive it's an integral component plus i over s plus ds mu so for alpha less than or equal 1 for this k over tau s alpha plus 1 we get something 1 over k tau over tau cell plus theta and the order of the tilted integral to be 1 minus alpha and we get an integral component and there is no derivative component so that's the ti controller now for the same model structure when we have alpha greater than 1 we have an integral component and a derivative component of fractional order the third and fourth one shows when you have model having more parameters we get tid controller with the tilted integral component an integer integral component and a derivative component so this is the summary of all of the results that we can have for this model structure of type 1 and type 2. Again, if we move forward with some complicated model structure, the controller structure will also be different. Now looking at some results, uh, we have done some simulation and for simulation we use the form con toolbox where this controller can be simply implemented as a transfer function. For the purpose of comparison, we use the pi lambda and d mu controller where when you change the lambda and u to be integer we get the simple pid controller so we use this simulation setup to get all the results now we use an example process uh, with a gain 1.25 equivalent time constant equal 20 and uh, the order of the fractional order process is 0 0.7 and process the time delay of four units so for this case we get a ti controller with this gain to be 1.5 the order of the tilted component to be 0.3 and the integral constant to be 0.075 this obtained for a closed loop time constant which is one fourth of the value of tau the desired closed loop transfer function is first order with gain one so in this case we can see that if we implement a pid controller by neglecting the fractional order we get a response like this which is oscillating and also the another red line shows the PID when it's optimized meaning that we try for different values of the PI controller for this case and then we get the best values 
in terms of the integral of the absolute error and then we find this controller where the blue line shows the set point and the black line shows the response when the ti controller is implemented from this response you can easily see that the response of the ti controller is much better than those of the pi and also those of the optimal pi we also look at the variation of the input for the same process and we apply the proposed controller ti and also we apply a pi lambda controller from the literature and also we apply the general pid controller for all of this case you can see that the ia value ia is the integral of the absolute error and also the tv which is defined as the total variance is nothing but describes the change in the input signals which is the summation of uk plus one minus uk for the proposed controller the both ia and tv value are much less than the other controller so this shows a good performance in terms of the output response also in terms of the movement of the input now here we compare the performance of the controller for different order process the first one having a simple type 1 structure the second and third one having the type 2 structure all having time delays the red line shows the open loop response to the process for some of those it's it's oscillating uh, the other lines it shows the performance of the process for different closed loop time constant so you see that you can get sluggish to all very aggressive control action without oscillation for all of these controller implementation cases so if you change the closed loop time constant if it becomes less and less the control action becomes more and more aggressive but we get a better response so this demonstrates that this tid structure is applicable for complicated structures as well and a good response can be obtained so in summary our objective here is to provide a simple method to solve the tuning problem of fractional order controller so we believe that using simple techniques the fractional order controller design can be made more popular we introduce this simple method which is which has been there for regular order pid controller for long time and used commonly in the academia and also in the industry so with the introduction of this ds or direct synthesis method for fractional order controller we believe that we can have wider use of the fractional order controller we have seen that the tuning method is simple yet the performance is better compared to other controllers both in terms of the output response and also in terms of the input movement our objective will be to look for real life applications to evaluate the fractional order controller performance here are the references for this work we acknowledge the funding support from NSERC and finally thank you for your attention